Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. Before we get into basketball picks for the final weekend of the regular season, I want to invite you to join. You will have access to this VIP club section that has all the tools to help you make your picks. So, we're gonna, again, we're going to look at NBA action for May the 16th, the final weekend of the regular season. And there's some interesting matchups in store. So we're going to get started. Look down here. The Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks. This is a classic Atlantic Division battle. Boston heads to New York, 7th in the Eastern Conference, and the Knicks are tied with the Heat for 5th. The Knicks have an advantage on the power ranking indicator, as you see here, at plus 15 to plus 10. Their average at the moment, winners of 2 out of their last 3 and 3 out of their last 6. The Celtics have dead status at the moment. You can see they have lost their last 4 and they have lost 5 out of their last 6. In the head-to-head -head meetings for this season, you can see that Boston has won one and New York has won one. New York winning on the road and Boston winning at home by two points. And considering the over and under in this game, Boston is playing in games trending well over the line. The Knicks are playing in games trending slightly over the line. It's a good idea to bet the over on this one. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How consistent have the two teams been according to their favorite and underdog status? You can see that the Knicks, plus 22, extremely stable. And Boston's showing good stability too at plus 12, even though they were up a little bit higher uh, just a couple, well, just a little over a week ago. If you look at the scores predictor for this one. You can see we have here Boston at well, 107 to 102 edge over New York. The confidence in the prediction is only 54%. I'm going to tend to go the other way on this one. I think that uh, the Knicks are going to play well at home. They want to overtake the Heat in the standings. They have a little bit more to play for. I think the Knicks will win and cover the spread. Charlotte and Washington. Indiana and Toronto. This is an interesting matchup right here. The Pacers are battling for the final playoff spot, while the Raptors have been eliminated and are finishing up a disappointing campaign. You can see that the Pacers are averaged down at the moment. They have won three of their last six, but they are coming off of a loss. Toronto dead, status losers of their last five, and one and five over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows Indiana at plus 14 on an upward trend from plus eight just a few days ago and Toronto at plus five. You look at what the two teams have done against each other so far this season. They have split the two meetings, Toronto winning by five on the road and Indiana winning by 15 at home in the last meeting. You're considering the over and under, Indiana playing in games trending well over the line for quite some time, and Toronto playing in games well under the line, so that pretty much negates itself. I would avoid betting over under on this one. Considering the volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Consistency is always a key. Both teams have been very consistent and more consistent as time has gone on. Plus 18 to plus 16 for Indiana. Which all that means is they're, they're performing according to their favorite underdog status. Let's look at the totals predictor. We have Indiana with a 108 to 103 margin of victory by an 88% confidence. That's a very high level of confidence. And it doesn't surprise me that I was leaning towards Indiana anyway. And this confirms it even further. Go with the Indiana to win and cover the spread. Phoenix and San Antonio. The Suns are second in the Western Conference and take on the Spurs who are battling for a final playoff position. Look at the power ranking indicator. Phoenix among the top teams in the NBA pretty much all season at plus 26, and San Antonio at plus 10. Head to head. In the last meeting, it's a big surprise win. Look at this. San Antonio was a huge road, un road underdog, and they won by 26 points. A very surprising upset victory in the last meeting between the teams. Phoenix's average status at the moment, winners of three out of their last 
6. San Antonio ice cold down. Losers of their last two and four out of their last six. You're looking at the over under, way over the line for Phoenix lately, and over the line for San Antonio. So expect a high scoring game. Betting the over is a wise choice. With the volatility oscillator, stability is always a factor. Both teams are showing stability as far as performing according to their favorite underdog status. Phoenix will be a road favorite. I expect them to win the game. And if you look here, there's the score prediction is 108 to 103 in favor of Phoenix, a five point margin with confidence in the prediction of nearly 85%. So, a very high level of confidence. Go with Phoenix to win and head into the playoffs on a positive note. Memphis and Golden State. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. You can see Memphis has won their last four. And Golden State has won their last four. This is a very interesting matchup because the teams enter with the exact same record and will battle in the round to enter the playoffs. If you look at the power ranking indicator, both teams on an upward trend, which is not surprising. Memphis at plus 21, up from plus 15 just about a week ago. And Golden State at plus 16, they are up from plus 8, also from about a week ago. If you're considering the over and under, Memphis slightly under the line lately. And Golden State under the line as well. So expect a lower scoring game. Betting the under is a smart play. Stability factor always the key. Again, both of these teams are showing moderate to relatively strong stability. They're performing consistently according to their fair status or underdog status, whatever the case may be. And in this one here, we have Golden State by a three point margin, 102 to 99, with 71% confidence. I expect pretty much the same. This is indicating a lower scoring game, which we already said betting under was a smart move. I think Golden State will edge Memphis in a very interesting contest. You would check on the point spread before you bet, uh, you know, before you place this bet, because we want to see what the point spread is going to be, because we're expecting a close scoring game on this one. Okay, we're going to go down through. We have one more game we want to look at. And we'll get to it soon. There's a lot of games on tap. You see the full slate of schedule for the final weekend of the NBA season. And the last game we're going to look at is right here. The Los Angeles Lakers and the New Orleans Pelicans. The Lakers are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last three games. The Pelicans are ice cold down. Losers of their last two and four out of their last six. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You can see that in the last two meetings, the teams have split. And by wide margins, really, about 17-point wins for both teams. At home, the power ranking indicator shows that the Lakers are on an upward trend at plus 22, and the Pelicans are down at plus 8. The Lakers are burning hot, and Pelicans are ice cold down, as I said before. If we want to look at the uh, over and under, the Lakers are playing in games trending slightly under the line. You see New Orleans quite a bit farther under the line by 6 points. This is a good chance to win some money by betting the under. What does the scores predictor show us? Well, the scores predictor shows a relatively low scoring game. See a total of 199 between the two teams with the Lakers coming out on top by five points. Confidence in prediction is a very strong 87%. The volatility oscillator shows which team is more consistent. The Lakers are extremely more consistent. They are going to be a road favorite. There's really no indication to bet for the Pelicans on this one. I believe the Lakers will win and cover and head into the playoffs on a positive note. So those are all the games I want to look at, but before we go, I want to invite you to take a look at our promotion here, we, the zcodesystem.com backslash giveaway, and here you have a chance to win up to nearly $35,000 in uh, different types of uh, prizes. If you look at the one prize here, an iPhone worth almost $1,000, a new PlayStation worth almost $500, and here's some VIP membership worth almost $2,000. So take a look at this. All you have to do is sign up, put in your name and an email address, and enter, and you may be a lucky winner. So there you have it. Enjoy the games in this final weekend of the NBA season, and we will see you next time.